Hi, this is Chris Fisher. This is astrology for week of uh, August 27th, 2012. Venus drifts into the late degrees of the great nurturer Cancer. While discipline may come from the shrewd influence of Saturn in the late degrees of, of, um, of Libra. One of the kindest aspects of accountability actually is honesty. And this liberating quality relieves the pressure of deceit and, uh, from, and hollow promise. Those who waffle back and forth sooner or later have to stand firm regardless of the consequences. That time may come with Venus and Saturn in a tense conversation. As the great liberator, Abraham Lincoln, once stated so crisply, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. That's so true. We may see true colors under these skies as the layers of, of the slick veneer begin to peel and fade. Obviously, my dog is upset about it as well. A long-standing distraction may finally settle as the truth emerges. The tide may begin to turn as honesty and responsibility finally emerge as, necessaries, as necessities rather than talking points. In short, the time has come to correct that which has been neglected. We can't waffle. You can't flip-flop. Mistreated or squandered is just a waste of time. As the moon enters the watery sign of Pisces later in the week, we may feel a dynamic drive to be truthful and reveal that which has been hidden. Like Oz, we can no longer ignore the man behind the curtain. The flash of recognition may be startling, but Mars in Scorpio can be very, very revealing and intractable and tenacious. Dark secrets, surreptitious actions can be hidden no longer as the deeds of the past come back to haunt just as they should. As just as the curtain's about to rise, all of a sudden there it is. This is when what people have done in the past will maybe come to light, the skeleton in the closet, so to speak. True astrology comes from accuracy. When you know the exact details of your chart, you get the instructions for your own particular journey. These are like instructions. It's like an operator's manual, using your birth date, your birth place, and it's most especially your birth time, which sets the rising sign. You're going to get the accuracy beyond belief. When you read your rising sign and your sun sign for any week of astrology, you're going to get 85 to 90 percent accuracy. I've been working with the planets and charts for over 40 years, and the timing and the action is real and validating beyond belief. Listen each week to my radio show. It's a show about astrology. It's called Turning the Wheel. It's on Contact Talk Radio, 11 o'clock every Saturday morning. The shows are then podcast and sent to iTunes for later on. You can always download them later. Write me for a reading at chris at chrisflisher.com and visit my website, www.turningofthewheel.com. Astrology works, and there's great information there for prepared. I'll see you next week. Thank you.